Shakespeare recognized music as the food of love. Our next guest recognized music as the food of opportunity. He is the renowned creator of El Sistema, an ingenious program he conceived in his native Venezuela nearly 40 years ago. It has given disadvantaged children, by now hundreds of thousands of children, the chance to make music. And through music, it has given them the chance for a better life. El Sistema invites young children, especially in economically disadvantaged communities, to join an orchestra. The children often rehearse five days a week, three or four hours a day. For Venezuela, El Sistema has become not just an ambitious form of extracurricular enrichment. It has become a full-fledged nationwide social program, a pathway for children to come together, to work hard, to learn, to collaborate, to aspire, to participate in something that gives them a sense of pride and belonging, and that inspires the communities they live in. If not for El Sistema, said a typical participant who took up the French horn, I'd either be dead or still living on the streets. Communities around the world have taken to pursuing versions of El Sistema in England and India, in Australia and Korea, across Latin America and here in the United States. We sometimes remark on the power of the arts to transform lives. Few, few people in the world personify that ideal as vividly as our honored guest. The most holy of human rights, he likes to say, is the right to art. We applaud Maestro Jose Antonio Abreu. magnanimous maestro of an uplifting movement, orchestrating harmonies that far transcend the stage in the sublime power of music, he finds opportunity's major key. Jose Antonio Abreu, Doctor of Music. <laughs> 